As the leader in online social gaming, Zynga had been experiencing a decline in their male user base for their virtual game Mafia Wars. We had to engage 1.8 million people so they'd reactivate and play the game. With the launch of Mafia Wars' new in-game city of Las Vegas, we saw an opportunity to bring the game to life with a concept that incorporated the real cities of Las Vegas and New York. We'd bring the game to life with a sweepstakes and a live event never before attempted in the online gaming category. With eight weeks to execute, we created a video trailer using in-game artwork provided by Zynga's game developers. We ended the trailer with a call for viewers to take part and help us destroy the evidence. If enough people played, we'd blow up a real armored truck in the desert outside of Las Vegas. A $25,000 reward and a chance to win a custom Mafia Wars iPad sweetened the deal. To draw our audience into the reality of the event, actors played the part of our video characters as real armored trucks hit the streets of New York and Las Vegas. Wild postings of a Las Vegas newspaper told of the video crime spree. Street teams placed bullet hole shaped window clings and fake money in three cities. A QR code or URL sent the reader to a Mafia Wars landing page to learn about the event and the game. Web banners and live radio spots announced the countdown to our event. As momentum started to build with bloggers posting sightings on several major websites, the gaming community did their part, playing the game. Meanwhile, a third truck went to a pyrotechnic facility to be rigged with enough explosive material to send four tons of metal 60 feet in the air. A remote location outside of Las Vegas with no hardline internet access available left us with the only option of a portable wireless transmitter the size of a backpack to stream the feed to players around the world. What had started as a national promotion now had a global audience watching online from Ustream's website, Facebook, and in the Mafia Wars game. The only thing left was the detonation itself. And who better to pull the trigger than a notorious celebrity gangster? Snoop Dogg arrived on location to do the honor for our live viewers who were now about to destroy the evidence. Freeze!